Hello, this is Andrew from DPS TV. If you've been watching my videos during the last few months, you know that I've covered a lot of RTUs and other remote devices. Today, I want to show you Tmon, the central alarm master that takes alarms from your DPS remotes, SNMP devices, and lots of other mission critical gear and displays them all under one monitoring umbrella. Alarm masters like Tmon are very complex, so I can't possibly cover every detail in the next few minutes. What I will do is show you real video captures of two handy interfaces, then give you a quick hardware and capabilities overview. Let's get started. This is the Tmon GFX geographic map interface. You'll see in this example network that I have a regional network from Fresno down to Los Angeles. So let's bring in a simulated alarm and we'll take a look at the process of drilling down through the interface to get all the necessary details to identify and then correct that alarm condition. So we can see here the Fresno site had started blinking red, indicating that there's a new change of state and it's a critical alarm, so we better drill down into that site. Uh, that icon represents a region, so when I clicked on it, you can see a more detailed region of the Fresno area, and clearly we have a site here, and that site is where the alarm condition is, so I'm going to click on that site now. And as you'll see, I've actually uploaded a custom site map, uh, a building floor plan, and this is a very simple site, probably a 10 by 10 room associated with a tower and you'll see that it has two racks of equipment. I have a variety of icons here that are not in a failed condition. You got tower lights, the main door sensor, microwave switch. Uh, in this case, it's the generator that has the problem. So I'll click on generator, and you'll see in this detail window that I have a generator fail at the Fresno Tower site. I get all the information I need, and I've actually associated a text message with this icon telling me that the site is probably now running on batteries with an estimated runtime of six hours, and I should alert a technician at this phone number. So I get all the information I need to address that alarm. I can go to the COS screen and indicate, yes, I, this user, I'm going to acknowledge this change of state, and I'm going to address it. So I'm going to hit enter and then it'll vanish from the change of state, but it never vanishes from the standing screen until the situation is repaired and the alarm actually does clear. And so we'll see that now. You can see it's now vanished from the standing alarm screen and there's no longer an alarm condition. Uh, there is a change of state for the clear that I can acknowledge as well. And now the icon is back to green and no longer blinking. I can zoom back out to the Fresno region, zoom back out to my entire network, and you can see this is a nice intuitive interface that makes it a lot clearer, for, especially for novice technicians, to drill down and figure out what's going on and know exactly where to go. Based on this floor plan, when I get to the site, I know right where the generator's located. I don't have to guess. The next interface that I want to show you is the Tmon mobile web interface for your smartphone. This supports both cellular or Wi-Fi connections, and you can also connect with a secured SSL or HTTPS encrypted connection for added security. For this example, I'll be switching between a PC BlackBerry simulator used by the engineers for compatibility testing and an iPhone. So let's take a look at the login screen with the iPhone. Once you're logged into the Tmon interface, you'll see standing windows or COS windows if you want to view standing alarms or change of state events. So here I'm clicking on standing windows, going to go into the all alarms window. You can see I can scroll through my various alarms, and I'm going to click here on AFC Critical, and this is the detail for that alarm point. You can see things like alarm ID, which site it is, the description of the alarm, its current status. Also near the bottom is who acknowledged the alarm. Breadcrumb navigation links along the top of the page make it easy to navigate back up after you've drilled down to get alarm detail. You can also change over to COS alarms or change of state events, and you'll see both alarms and clears, and you can acknowledge those so that other technicians on your team will know that you've handled that, because multiple people can be logged into the mobile web interface at the same time if you have a company where you have multiple technicians addressing problems simultaneously. You can see I can scroll through the change of state events here, and then I've got some multi-acknowledgement options. If I say select to three alarms here, and click ACK. I can ACK those. So I'll click ACK SELECT. And now those have been acknowledged. At any time, you can always navigate back up to your smartphone's OS. 
And when you're done with the web interface, you simply log out. Teamon LNX is the newest hardware platform for Teamon software. The front panel is clean with an optical drive, an LCD display, and some control buttons. The back panel has a lot of inputs and outputs. For direct input and output, there are mouse, keyboard, and monitor ports. For remote access via LAN, and especially for pulling LAN devices, Teamon LNX has six gigabit LAN ports, allowing it to establish independent connections to six different networks simultaneously. This enhances security by allowing you to monitor equipment on multiple networks without routing traffic between those networks. Also on the back panel are 16 cartridge slots for serial interface cards. You'll select different quantities and varieties of these cards to monitor non-LAN devices with interfaces like RS-232, RS-485, 202 modem, and POTS modem. Over 25 protocols are supported. Teamon LNX can monitor thousands of devices and up to one million alarm points, so you have a lot of room to grow. At the same time, it's priced far below the mega-dollar SNMP managers that only the world's biggest companies can possibly justify. Once alarms have been collected, you have the option to forward them to a higher level master via SNMP or several other protocols. Many of the world's largest companies have several Teamons collecting alarms from non-SNMP gear and forwarding them via SNMP to a top-level SNMP manager. As you can see, Teamon brings alarms from many different types of gear, including legacy equipment, under one monitoring umbrella. Then, multiple users can view and acknowledge alarms on a map or on their smartphones. You can also forward alarms to a higher-level knock center. For more information about the Teamon alarm management platform, call 1-800-693-0351 or send email to sales at dpstele.com. You can also use the quick online form at the bottom of this webpage to send Max Smith a quick message. For DPS TV, this is Andrew, signing off.